Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Mass Effect. Uh, today, uh, I thought I'd start a new Let's Play called Mass Effect. I know I've been gone for a while, but that's mainly due to exams. So I'm back uh, and ready to start a new. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information uh, requested. To the database. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, well, we're going to want to enter a new ID. We'll have a custom Please mail. Log in to uh, access your profile. I've already started on a name for our uh, shepherd. I'm going to call him Ethan. I've also decided uh, on the background he's going to be a colonist, actually. And I'll get into Warning. it in Data a minute. corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. We shall. Confirm pre-service history. Okay, so our shepherd is going to be a colonist. We were born and raised on Mindor. Small wards of Connolly in the Attican Traverse. When we were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your f my family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you were enlisted in the military a few years later. The reason we're going to go for Conlis is mainly because I've never had a character with the Conlis backstory before, so I thought it would be quite nice to try it out. Confirm psychological profile. And due to this, uh, he, didn't, he never wanted to witness what happened to his Conley, so he actually became the war hero he is today. So early in our military career, we found ourselves facing overwhelming enemy forces. You risked, we risked our own lives. Oh, sorry, <laughs> risked our own lives to save our fellow soldiers and defeat the, the enemy, despite in ugh, despite the impossible odds. Our bravery and heroism have earned us medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. <laughs> Now, usually you would think Soul Survivor would actually go with the colonist, but in my case, I believe that the Spacer would actually get Soul Survivor because they would be arrogant with themselves and would think that they could pull off the mission without any trouble because of their Alliance uh, background. So, this is the reason I think uh, we're going to go with War Hero. Confirm military specialization. Uh, I hadn't actually given thought on what specialization I was going to be. Uh, usually I play the bog standard soldier, uh, just because I can have uh, heavy armor. But I think I'm going to go with a more uh, a different class this time. Let's have a look. Uh, Adapts are biotic specialists. Yes, I know. Well, I pretty much know what all the classes are, and I know that in this first game they're not very different. They're basically the same, but one has powers really. So. I think the two classes I've played is Infiltrator and Soldier, they're the main two classes I've played. So it's either going to be Engineer, Adept, Sentinel or Vanguard. Um, I played through Mass Effect 1 with Vanguard before, but I don't want to play with Vanguard later on in the game. So it's either going to be Sentinel, Adept or Engineer. And I think I might actually go with an engineer. Confirm facial identification. No, we're going to make our shepherd unique. Right, let's have a look through the presets. No, 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 no. Maybe. We might come back to you. No, no. Hmm. So we're going to be this one or the other one, I think. We head back. Oh, oh I've gone through it. Past him again. I think I'm actually going to go with this preset. So let's go to facial structure. Uh, no, we'll keep him a little bit tanned. Com we'll keep him that complexion. We don't want that scar though. There we go. We'll have a bit of mouth scar we've been punched in the face with something. Uh, eyes. We always go with those eyes. I think we'll go with a nice green. No, we'll have a lighter green. If we go to hair. I like the hair style as it is. 
might oh, might change the brow actually. Yeah, that's better. Uh, beard. I might give him a goatee. I'll give him a full on uh, beard. Yeah, and I think this is going to be our shepherd. So let's get into the game. Profile reconstruction complete. So, just to summarise, we are Ethan Shepherd, the colonist war hero who is an engineer. Identification confirmed. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to keep the difficulty on normal. Auto level up off. Target assist. We'll keep it on normal. Squad power usage, yes we want that activated, we want subtitles on, and definitely want auto save. This isn't going to be an Iron Man let's play because there is no way I'm going to get through this game with no deaths. So, it'll be a fun experience. I've never played the game through on PC before. I recently got this and I thought it'd be quite nice to go through it. I did own this on the Xbox. And I think I've played it about 20,000 times. What about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remnants of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the, in the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology uh, was a force controlled by various factors in space and time. By the way, Yara, Mass Effect. Well, I tried to get through that as quick as possible. Didn't go too well, though. The Arcturus Prime relays Here he is, range. Here Shepard. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Here's our navigator present. Calculating transit mass and destination. Requiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Here we are. One is green. Approach run has begun. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sink engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Well, I think we're gonna have to agree with Joker here. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. 
Shepard. Well done, Joker. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yes. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Okay, right, I just want to get one thing straight first. I'm not going to be just Paragon or Renegade. I'm going to go with the option which I think is the most appropriate to the situation. they're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? Uh, no, I think we're going to talk about your little argument. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You know what, we're, we're gonna help Presley here. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay, well, let's head off. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. <laughs> Not That's his choice, think. Doc. Spectres yeah. don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Yeah, the doctor's right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. It's just any other mission. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Um... There isn't any rush. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Okay. Well, thanks for your time. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Uh, let's see, Captain Anderson. Well, Niners. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Uh, I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Or is that a threat? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I believe we are. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Oh, that's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Uh, why secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Uh, what are the details? What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Well, I'm glad to have your help. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Uh, why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. 
You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Well, what's the next step? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Well, we're ready. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 that's some big all shit status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Hmm. Well, this is going to be the first uh, combat. Stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We need to count on. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Okay, so now we're gonna be. We are drop approaching drop point two. Okay, right. Ship perimeter secure, Have we got, So, what weapons have I got? training in. Just a pistol. Okay. So at least I know what we're going to be focusing on. Right. Elenko is in the same boat. Pistols are his only thing. Um. Right. Let's put overload into slot one. We'll put sabotage there. Does it tell you what it does? Damages enemy shields. So that's quite good against Geth. Overheats nearby enemy weapons and burns them for minor damage. Okay. Right. This place got hit hard. Hostiles 